So today I'm going to speak about another synthetic wig. Um, when I bought this, it was not cheap. For a synthetic wig, it was super expensive. But all the hair influencers, all the people doing wigs, were featuring this wig. So I thought, okay, I have to go and get it. And it looked cute on them. I mean, this is how it looks on me. And this is not something you can really style, you know. I, I think if you mess around with these curls too much, it's just going to get bigger and bigger. And also, how are you ever going to be able to get the curls back into this shape again after they've got frizzy? I have no idea. But here's the back of the wig. You know, it's nice and full. I love the color. It feels a little bit dry. Like if this was my hair, I would probably need a conditioner. But here's the stock card. It's uh, butter lace and it's in T4 golden brown. So this is a sensational wig. You can see the stock card here. And again, they may not have the exact wig, but I'm sure there'll be many others just like it on the market. And she looks great with this. I mean, this doesn't look this great on my face. And normally my hair looks like this, except maybe a bit shorter. So I've been thinking maybe I'm gonna turn it like this, like get rid of that parting space and just bring it across like this or something like that. I mean, anything must look better than this kind of um, blunt edge for on my forehead. Anyways, if you look at the advertising for this on any of the websites, the hair is going to look very good and people who are wearing it, it looks very good. So maybe it just needs a bit more styling that I've been ready to put into it. I probably wore this once since I got it and that was just to get like margaritas and Mexican food. But um, it, I don't know, it'll take a bit of styling and if you style it badly with a, a hot iron or whatever, with whatever you styling tool you use which has heat in it you might just mess up the entire thing because <laughs> it is synthetic after all so i mean i like it but i'm not sure if it was worth the money i've had uh better wigs that came right out of the box and i put it on my head and they look good but i mean you know you get what you pay for so hopefully i'll get a better one next time but again this is not in any ways uh stuck to my head it's just over a wig cap and I would go like this outside and I'm not really worried that it's going to fall off of my head um, and it feels comfortable it's a complete uh, cap under here again let me show you the back because that's one of the really selling points for this and I think if you figured out how to style it so that it looked good you got a good wig here <laughs> anyways I hope you enjoyed this episode of wonderful wigs and see you again soon I forgot to mention that this is a vintage dress. I mean, the back of it, I think you saw in the video so far, but um, it's great for the winter, except that it has a back that's like not there. But I'm not afraid to wear stuff like that. So anyways, here's what the hair looks like. You know, just wearing it around the house. It's a bit big. It's a bit, uh, it's a bit much. <laughs> anyways. Mm -hmm.